When you have nothing to write about, write about having nothing to write about. Those are the words from the great Doberman Dan. I hired Doberman two months ago to help me with some of my copywriting for our book pages, our new magazine ads. Tremendous guy. We're the same age, we share the same brain. We have different personalities, but really outstanding guy. I've enjoyed working with him for the last two months. I have a lot of respect for the freedom and independence and autonomy and personal sovereignty he's created for himself. Man, he works on his own terms. All he does is copyright. He's one of the very best copywriters on the planet. He was trained by Gary Halbert. I think he actually helped Gary a little bit too when they lived together. So that was great. Good morning. Um, they actually, him, uh, Doberman and Gary, Gary lived, the great, Hel Gary, the great Prince of Print, Gary Halbert, lived with Doberman in, uh, I guess it was Co Costa Rica for like a month and a half, two months uh, back in the day. And imagine you're living with one of the greatest copywriters in history, Gary Halbert. And these are the type of people that Doberman Dan surrounded himself with. So nonetheless, he's an extremely expensive copywriter. Um, but what I love about Dan is uh, he's, um, everything's return on investment. So if I pay him, you know, a couple thousand dollars an hour for work, um, you know, the return on investment is like two to one, three to one. I love the way he writes. Um, I love all that stuff. So really important. And it was a great hire for us to, uh, I hired speed cause I write copy and, uh, nobody can write about my products like I can, but that's not why I hired Dan. I hired him for speed to help me with bullets, to help me with full page magazines so we could attack more in 2023 to play more offense. I hired him because everybody's hiding at home in the fetal position. They're scared. Joe, creepy Joe Biden told them to be free, fearful, to be afraid. And I'm like all out attack. I'm all out attack in 2023. I'm on my toes. I'm just all about offense, 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 play offense, play offense, play offense. So, um, that's me putting my money where my mouth is, investing in Doberman Dan. So Doberman, I get the excuse all the time from my clients, like Michael, I don't have anything to write about, or you know, it's their big Achilles heel, they can't sit their ass down and write for 10 minutes. And I'm like, well, why can't you? And they're like, I mean, it's just, you set a timer and you, you go into your private office and you put your fingers on the keyboard and you write. What's so difficult about that? Well, I just can't consistently do it. I don't know what to write about. I got writer's block. Writer's block is bullshit. That's like having fitness block. Oh, I, I can't walk. I got walking block. Or I got weightlifting block. I can't do Hindu squats, Michael. I got Hindu squat block. I got, I can't drink a gallon of water. I got water block. I, it's just the same with writing. It's just burying yourself in horseshit, your own horseshit. The reason you can't write is it's not important. The reason you can't walk is it's not important. The reason you don't date your wife is it's not important. The reason you're not in the best physical, mental health of your life is because it's not important. The reason that you don't copyright every day is it's not important. It's not a writer's block. The block is you don't give a shit. So I was there, it wasn't important. I used to talk about writer's block years ago and then I decided I wanted to be wealthy. I decided that I wanted to be free and I, re I decided that I wanted to live life on my own terms and I finally had a come to Jesus moment where I was like I can't do any of those things if I don't market and advertise so that was uh, that was the big thing I'm like I'm gonna be poor I'm gonna be broke I'm gonna be working for somebody else and I'm not gonna be free I'm not gonna have any personal sovereignty if I don't become a serious writer so that day I started sitting down for 30 minutes every day. Then I, then I got that discipline to 45 minutes and then 60 minutes. And every day for the last 20 years, every day, seven days, 365, I sit down and I write copy for 60 minutes. You don't have to do that. You can start with 10. But I set the timer 
every day I sit down, put my fingers on the MacBook, and I write an email, or I write a postcard, or I write a flyer. I do something that, bring, that brings me money. Very simple. So, I think that's my... Hello, Emery. Can you hear me? How's your morning going? I'll be home in five minutes. Amazing. She could hear me through. I'm on a different street and she could hear me. Wow. More is caught than taught. There's my crazy dad out shooting videos, shooting off his mouth early in the morning. So Doberman told me last week something that stuck with me. When you can't think of something to write, write about not being able to think about something to write. He said, put your fingers on the keyboard, sit your ass down, have a glass of water, a cup of coffee, and just start typing. That's it, just start typing. And that makes sense because I, uh, on these walking videos, which I've done now for almost a year and a half, is most days when I turn on this broken iPhone, I have no idea what I'm gonna talk about. I don't. I don't make notes or anything. I think about it the day before, but then I, I forget about it. And what I do is I start walking. And within five minutes, I tr press play, and I'm like, I talk. Whatever comes out, it's just like percolation. Same thing with writing. Some days I sit down, I'm like, what am I gonna write about today? What email am I gonna send? What's the telegram? What are gonna, like, I gotta write a telegram. It's, it's Friday today when I shoot this. What am I gonna write about? Well, I'm gonna put my fingers on the keys. I'm gonna close my eyes and take five deep breaths. And whatever comes to me, whatever my intuition and my creator send to me, I write about. And that's the best stuff I do write about when it comes from my heart and soul. That's like, if I take notes or I'm gonna write about this or I'm gonna write about Elon Musk, or, that's not my best stuff. My best stuff is when I sit down and I take five deep breaths, I take a drink of water, I put my keys on my MacBook Pro and I sit down and I open my eyes and I type and literally it just pours out of you. That's my soul, that's my heart, that's my uh, intuition. Good morning, that's my golden gut, that's everything. So remember that tip, that's huge. Um, when you don't have anything to write about, write about having nothing to write about. Share your life with your writings. If you're struggling with walking, share that. If you're, if you're, if you're struggling with alcohol, share that. If you're struggling in your marriage, share that. It takes courage, it takes, it takes brass balls, but I've learned that it's authenticity is everything. If you're struggling with food, share that. If you're struggling as a father, share that. If you're struggling with cell phone, junky addictions, share that. If you're struggling, whatever, it's just share that. Writer's block, whatever you wanna call it, share that. And that's a big one. Remember that, Doberman Dan, that was a writer down, or I put that on a recipe card. And now it's tacked to my wall where I write. If you can't think of something to write, write about not being able to think about something to write. Man, that's next level. That's next level. Doberman's gonna be on my Champions Mastermind in two weeks. My mom and dad are coming February 28th from Canada, so I'm really jacked about that. Leanne's coming, Mark andres coming. They're bringing their, Leanne's bringing her children. Mark Andre's bringing his girlfriend, badass. Team badass is gonna be here in Naples for a few days. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I'm gonna be taking some time off to enjoy that time. It's put me in a really happy state. So be, enjoy it while it lasts. Um, so that's it for today. If you can't think of something to write, write about not being able to think of something to write. Sit your ass down and write. How do you get good at writing? You write. How do you write? You write. You sit your ass down. I'm gonna write that telegram in a minute here. No clue what I'm gonna write, but, but here's the secret. Cup of coffee, sit down, hands on the keys, close my eyes, breathe deeply, and write. That's how you get good at skating, you skate. That's how you get good at golf, you golf. That's how you get good at walking, you walk. That's how you get good at anything, is you do it. You do it. So if you don't have anything to write about, write about not having anything to write about it. Movement, motion creates emotion. That's it, if you'd like to be joined at the hip with me, buy my book, How to Not Get Your Ass Kicked in Business and Life. 
You can buy a copy below at nobullbook.com, nobullbook.com. You can also subscribe to my monthly paper and ink righteous newsletter. It's called the Michael McLean World Building Letter. Uh, that's badassletter.com, link is below. Monthly newsletter, 22 pages of righteous, righteous personal sovereignty world building. Something like $3.24 a day. Um, and finally, if you want to be joined at the hip personally with me for 12 months, apply for my world building mastermind. We meet every Wednesday, every second Wednesday for a couple of hours. No travel, no hotels, just you and your brothers and me working on your business, hot seats every second week. Uh, badassworldbuilders.com. I got a great group this year of world builders. Great elite husbands, fathers, grandfathers, entrepreneurs, community leaders. I got the A team this year in my champions and in my world builders. It's a privilege to coach those guys. Winners aren't losers. Winners aren't losers. World, badassworldbuilders.com. That's it. Get writing, get walking, get drinking water, get dating your wife, get eating the right foods. And environment is for champions. Uh, environment, uh, it willpowers for chumps. Two words that changed my life, two words that'll change your life. Be relentless.